Hello and welcome to another flexible shipping tutorial. Today, we're diving into weight-based shipping. How to set weight-based shipping cost. In flexible shipping, whether you're using the free version or flexible shipping pro, you'll find a weight parameter in your shipping rules. This parameter allows you to define when a rule applies based on the total weight of the cart. The weight is pulled from the product settings in WooCommerce. The weight has these options in it. Is slash is not. Select whether the cart weight should match or exclude a particular value or range. From slash to, define minimum and maximum weight thresholds for each shipping rule. If you're on the pro version, you also have access to additional cost settings, which can be applied per weight unit. We discussed this feature in our earlier video. Useful cases. Case 1. Suppose you run an online store that sells both lightweight accessories and heavy machinery. You want to charge a lower shipping rate for items under 5 kg and a higher rate for anything above 5 kg. Action. Create two rules within flexible shipping. For the first rule, set the weight condition to from 0 to 5 with a lower shipping cost. For the second rule, set from 5.01 and assign a higher shipping fee. Effect. Customers buying lighter items see cheaper shipping, while heavier products incur a higher charge. Case 2. You want to apply a progressively increasing shipping rate as weight goes up. Let's assume that you want to charge $2 per 5 pounds. Action. Create rule with weight parameter. You don't have to set ranges. Go to additional cost, choose weight unit, and set $2 per 5 pounds. Troubleshooting debug mode. Getting your weight ranges right is crucial for accurate shipping costs. To check your setup, use the built-in debug mode in flexible shipping. It shows you cart details, which rules are triggered or not triggered, and whether everything works as expected. Remember, debug mode is only visible to site administrators, so your customers won't see it. Use it to refine your rules until you're confident everything calculates properly. That's it for today's overview of weight-based shipping in flexible shipping. Whether you're using the free version or pro, you can easily define shipping costs based on weight ranges, along with other conditions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.